Hi guys, it's Bryony. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a slightly different video today. Since I started showing a bit more of some of the foods that I've been cooking for myself and for Orin in my day in the life videos, I've had a number of requests from you guys to do some recipe videos. So today I thought I'd give it a go for the first time. I'm gonna be showing you one of the easiest recipes I have. All the recipes that I'm gonna do on my channel are gonna be based off of three main things. They're gonna be cheap, they're gonna be easy, and they're gonna be tasty. And this recipe absolutely ticks all of those boxes, although it is aimed more for the babies and toddlers, but given how much Oren loves his meal, he can definitely testify that it's tasty. So today I'm showing you how to make baby slash toddler friendly spinach pancakes. It's a really great recipe, it's really simple. It's a recipe that you can make a batch of, and so you basically have the batter to last you almost a full week. So it's great if you wanna do some meal prep at the beginning of the week and then use it up throughout the rest of the week. It's a really simple, easy recipe to do. Anybody can make this recipe regardless of how much experience you have with cooking. And it's also a really great way to get some iron rich spinach into your child. Now, aside from the main ingredients, which I will get onto in a sec, the other thing you're going to need for this recipe is a blender or some way to blitz the batter. So I found that it does work best in this sort of smoothie style blender. You can also use a food processor or a handheld stick blender as well. They both work, but I found that this is the easiest way to do it. So if you want to make your life as easy as possible, get the blender out. Let's jump on into the video. So for this recipe, you will need half a pint or 300 mils of milk, one egg, 150 grams of flour, and a handful of spinach. I'm using frozen spinach today because that's what I happen to have in my freezer. A while ago, I bought some fresh spinach and I just stuck the rest in the freezer. That's a little hack for you, by the way. You don't have to buy frozen spinach. You can just stick some fresh stuff in the freezer. I'm gonna start by adding all the milk into the blender. I used oat milk here because my son has a dairy allergy, but you can use regular milk too. Crack in the egg, and then you wanna add in a really decent handful of the spinach. It is going to whiz down quite a lot. I didn't bother to defrost it here because you don't need to, although this recipe does work slightly better if you do happen to have fresh spinach. You can use regular spinach or baby leaf spinach for this. Stick it in the blender and give it a really good blend. You want it to be really well mixed together. When it's finished, it's gonna look like this. It's gonna be a lot more green with only a few flaky bits in it. When that's finished blending, you then wanna start adding in the flour. So do it two tablespoons at a time, you add it to the mixture. And by the way, if you want these to be more puffy like American pancakes, just switch the plain flour for self-raising flour or add half a teaspoon of baking powder to the mix. Blend it again, and you basically wanna just keep repeating this process. Keep adding in two tablespoons of flour at a time until you've finished up the mixture and it's all blended together nicely. Once you finish blending it all together, it should look somewhat like this gloopy mixture here. If you have a mixture that's too thick, you can add a bit more milk, or if you have a mixture that's too runny, you can add a little bit more flour. It's quite adaptable, this recipe. The next step is gonna be heating up your pan and greasing it. I've just used an olive oil spray here, and you can use butter or any other type of oil that you want. I'm then gonna spoon out the mixture, and because I'm making baby-sized pancakes, I'm using a tablespoon to spoon out three pancake shapes here. You can, of course, make them whatever shape you want. You could just make one big pancake and cut it up into smaller shapes if you'd like, but I find that this is the size and the shape that works best for me. Once these are finished cooking for a bit, you're then gonna want to flip them over. You'll see here it is a little bit tricky sometimes, especially if you've well greased the pan. I'm just using a little spatula here, and you just wanna flip them over, and then when you've done this, you wanna cook them on this side for about a minute until they start to go slightly brown. Once you finish flipping them, you're then gonna move them onto a plate to cool down and leave them on the side until they're the right temperature to give to your baby or toddler. And that's all there is, folks. So there you go. That is how to make spinach baby and toddler friendly pancakes. As you can see, I've just cut them up here to show you a few different ways you can serve them. You can serve them whole like this, or if you've got a slightly younger baby, you can cut it in half so they've got these easier bits to hold. Or if you've got an older baby or toddler like mine who likes smaller pieces, you can quarter them as well. You can also spread things on here like peanut butter. Cream cheese is another good option. I actually have some vegan cream cheese here that I often put on these for Orin. You can also do hummus, like anything that you want to spread on them. You can, or you can just give them plain and see what they think. Now you can cook all the batter at once if you want to batch cook them but I wouldn't recommend doing that because after a couple of days they do go quite hard. So what I think is a better thing to do is to pour this batter, if you're likely like me to use the blender again in the week, pour the batter into a bowl or a jug, cover it with cling film and put it in the fridge and then use it as you go. So each day that you wanna use the batter, you just make it up fresh in the pan because once you've made the batter, this is the slightly time consuming bit. Actually making the pancakes takes less than 10 minutes. And this amount of batter should easily last you a week. So Oren will typically eat, I'd say around five pancakes that are this size, maybe even six now, his appetite's gone up a bit. So I will make six of these at a time and give them to him and leave the rest of the batter in the fridge. And this should probably last me about a week's worth of lunches. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed making it actually, and I'm looking forward to bringing some more content to you like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Do please subscribe, and I will see you very soon. Bye, everyone. Have a great day.